Hi, my name is Brian Wood. I'm actually a web developer and I create different kinds of content, like learning content, I guess you can call it. And I'm here with Travis Nielsen, who is from Google. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I design what do search. You do? Uh, yeah, I design search at Google. Okay. And then I try to teach people what I learn uh, by creating videos and te speak speaking and uh, podcasts, things like that. That's great. So we're going to talk about the workflow for UX design. Now, what, what does that mean? I mean, this is where we kind of start to really dig in, yeah. so to speak, right? Yeah. So uh, let's just try to understand the workflow. Can yeah, you like if, take if you through? have a project, like where should you start? Right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Fundamentally, you should start by trying to understand what the project is. And so there's going to be a lot of research at the top. It's called foundational research, understanding the landscape of the, of the space you're building in and, and what other people have done, what's possible, right? So, sorry, I don't mean uh -huh. to, So, as a, let's say, as somebody who's coming at this from like a web developer or some other design perspective, I mean, for me, it would be as a web uh, designer, rather, web designer developer. Yeah. You actually start to think in terms of, well, I'm going to ask some questions first. I'm going to mm -hmm. find out who the competition is, look at their site, that kind of thing. And this is just, this is sort of like that, but it's great, it's expanded, right? I mean, it's it, obviously yeah. more. Yeah, I mean, think of the scientific method, right? Yeah. Just what's out there already that we know? Do some research, yeah. and then explore. So like, after you understand, explore, and say, like, what's possible? And then you want to validate that thing. Okay, so for exploring, we're yeah. going in and creating, after we do some research, we're doing what? Yeah, exploring might be like sketching up some ideas, or designing a prototype, or, or like, like trying a few more mock-ups, or whatever it is. That's just exploring, where you're, you're, you're saying, like, now that I understand what's needed, What's possible? Get it all out, and like, the, like the more you can do early and up front, the better. Okay. So you're kind of, you're kind of starting. I'm just, what I'm trying to do here is, I'm trying to get this too. You're trying to understand, yeah. like, what are things like to start with, mm -hmm. right? You're kind of doing the research, figuring out, and research can take a lot of forms. We'll yeah. talk about that. But sure. Um, it, it, you kind of form an, an idea, right? Mm -hmm. You think. Well, the, the the purpose of research is to make an assertion. Okay. Every, every good piece of research will say, therefore. It'll have an assertion, and once you understand what that is, once you understand uh, how things are like, right? Mm -hmm. I think they're like this. That's what a research, a good piece of research, should say. Okay. And then you say, well, if they're like that, what can I do? What space is there for me to build something, or create something, or or, or organize something that will help the user better? Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's when you know we're sketching ideas, we're designing, we're talking to people, we're iterating, we're sprinting. Okay. You're going up, and the next thing, like once you say, I think this might be helpful, that's when we're coming down on this other side of the slope there, when we're saying, like, let's test it. Let's validate this idea, and we're going to build prototypes, put them in front of users, we're going to do that research, we're going to test again, and it's, a, and it's a cycle, right? We're going to say, now that we understand that, let's make a new assertion. What else can we do with that? Okay, that makes that makes sense. That yeah. actually makes a lot of sense. And you just kind of hit on collaborating with people, like yeah. talking with people. So totally. what, who who who's part of the soup here? Who's part of the mix? You know what I all, mean? Like who are you? <laughs> all kinds. Okay. So the thing I love about UX design is that is that it it really is uh, a leadership role. Our job is to connect people with ideas. We're supposed to understand research and make assertions and, and ask what if and say maybe this and test that out. Mm -hmm. And so the people that we're going to be working with are, are people like researchers, engineers to build things, uh, product managers to, to understand the landscape of things and organize and create partnerships. And, and like, so you see like it's a very mm -hmm. connective, it, it's a web kind of, not, not internet web, but like it, yeah. it's like, like the, the team that you build is a, a lot of diverse skills and things. And that the, uh, also depends on yeah. the 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 scope the the scope of the project yeah. the, where you work maybe if mm -hmm. you're specialized or not that kind yeah, of thing, yeah. Right? So. Um, yeah 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 different projects require different uh, you know people to help out with mm -hmm. um, but ultimately I like this one quote from Jared Spool who says everyone thinks they're a designer because everyone is a designer yeah. and and that's what I love like I like enabling and empowering the engineers to be like you are a designer yeah. And when I talk to a researcher, I'm like, you are, are setting the foundation for this experience. You are designing something. Yeah, in and some way or form, right? In everyone's a designer, yeah, right. I get that. And that as sense. a UX designer, at holding that name, holding that title, our job is to wrap around everybody and say, I, you know, I'm directing the experience, out, the output of the experience for the user. So, real, real quick, do you, do you use the same workflow every single time? Not, I mean, not every single I mean, every, every uh, project has its own scope. Yeah. You know, yeah, and we're probably used to that. A lot of us, right? right? So. Yeah, the sa same principles apply here. Yeah. Um, and if if you have, if you, if you have one approach to everything, right? Like if if all you have is a hammer, everything is a nail kind of idea. Yeah. Um, the best 
user experience designer is flexible. They have a lot of options. They're, they're, they're fluid in the way that they approach problems and situations. So, okay, so kind of finalize here. What, what workflow tool or process should you use? Generically, of yeah. course, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's say you're good at this really one thing. Like, yeah. like you're super good at it, but, mm -hmm. And, and maybe there's like this objective, perfect tool or method for the project over here. Mm -hmm. Where you want to be is, is in the inside. You don't want to learn a whole new tool for the project, and you don't want to use your old tried and true kind of process. Somewhere in the middle where you're pushing on it, you're using this new idea, a new approach, you want to learn something through the process too. Like yeah. you never, never stop, never stopping. Yep. Uh, but you want to be right in the middle. That sweet spot is where you're using what you know and you're trying new things too, and maybe it's a little closer to the perfect tool. And that's the best choice. Okay, I gotcha. So this was some, some great information, I, I think, because we went through and we talked about what the UX workflow looked like, kind of broke it apart, that kind of thing. Talked about who is going to be involved in the process, which a lot of us you know, have probably seen before if we're doing web design, app design, that type yeah. of thing. Um, and then kind of talked about the, the, the workflow from a generic standpoint, like are you doing it every time? How does it change, evolve, et cetera? So I think that's, that's some really good stuff right there. That's great. Yeah.